Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace. Praying all is well with all of you. Welcome back to another vlog. So, <clears throat> in the process of making my bed, I don't know if I told you guys that I have a duvet that is on my bed, but I got a bunch of uh, different colors. I have a white, a black, and a green. So, I occasionally swap out them from time to time. But since I've had this new, like, decor set up in my room, I've only had the white duvet on there and then of course i added my tan quilt which is the brown thing right there um so i did do that so i just washed the black one um and i'm gonna put the black one on just because i want my room to be a little more moody and i know if i put the black duvet on there and i have these really really pretty green pillows i went back into home goods yesterday because i was trying to find a third one they only had two, baby. They only had two. <sighs> I'm gonna try to get my duvet together. Y'all know doing a duvet is an extreme sport, so BRB. See, just having the black duvet on there just kind of makes it a little more moody in here. And not moody in like a bad way, obviously. Just, I don't know what it is, but the past like, several months or so i've just been really into black so my duvets i got all three of my different duvets all from amazon the insert is from amazon so i'll link those down below if you are interested in getting a duvet but i will tell you i do be missing a, um i do miss a comforter sometimes because imagine you know just putting the comfort on the bed folding it over adding your pillows and then you're done this i have to like set this up <laughs> And this gets annoying, but let's do it. Stop bumping your gums, Jalen. Do the hard thing, girl. We're doing it. Lord knows we're doing it. Anyway, today is Friday, August 25th, and i um, feeling really good right now. Feeling really good. I'm going to get up, and I'm going to go grab some breakfast. I have a few things on my agenda today, and I'm really excited because it's work, and y'all, you know, me in this side part. Who am I? But yeah, I'm going to kind of get myself together, and then I will be back because y'all already know I want to go get breakfast. BRB. All right, you guys, good morning. I just switched cameras. I'm still like testing out <laughs> this other camera. It's just a test run just to see what I'm gonna end up going with or end up liking. I have a few errands I wanna run this morning. Let me add this one to the list before I forget. Okay, yeah, I'm getting ready to go. A little Bible study in the car, all the things. I'm gonna go grab breakfast, but then I have a few errands I wanna run. So, Avery, I love you. All right, guys, I am getting ready to go to Starbucks. I'm trying to figure out, I probably should have just hit the highway. Because again, I'm trying to run some errands and I want to go ahead and get my errands out of the way. And I feel like, I feel like it would make the most sense if I started the farthest out and then make my way. You know what I'm saying? And then make my way out. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense. All I'm saying is, so like, let's just say hypothetically, Target is the farthest thing from me, but everything else is closer to my house, hypothetically. Like, wouldn't it make sense to go to the farthest location first, get all of the things that I want to get, and then make my way back that way when I'm done running my errands? I'm just... I'm already closer to my house as it is, right? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to head and grab me some breakfast first because I just want some coffee in my system. That's what I'm feeling today. And honestly, I don't want to start my... Thank you, Lord. I don't want to start my day without the Lord. I did my five-minute journal entry for the day. And I'm really loving this journal, you guys, because sometimes... I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes trying to journal full-blown, and I mean blank page type of deal, it can get a little... At least for me. Let me speak for me. Some Sometimes I can feel a little overwhelmed because I'm like, ooh, okay. I'm trying to dissect. Like, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I got to write about the most traumatic things. I got to write about, 
you know the most hurtful things that I'm dealing with right now like and not necessarily you don't have to do that you can literally make journaling whatever you want but that's where my mind goes sometimes I'm like dang like I just feel like I gotta instantly go to the most traumatic thing or the most saddest thing that I'm dealing with at the time or something like that and it's really not it's really not that kind of time so yeah so I really 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 have loved the five minute journal just because just kind of zone in on exactly what I want to like write about and again if you have a five minute journal then you know what it does is it like labels off you know it labels off the um like the day so it'll talk about you know what you're grateful for you know what is your daily affirmation what's the other part what are you grateful for oh what are you most uh what would make today great so it gives you questions or just thought-provoking questions or just things to really just focus on and I feel like a lot of the time I'm just focus on, on gratitude straight dead in the morning it's just so good because also essentially when I think about worshiping the Lord and praying to the Lord I mean we start with Thanksgiving so if you guys have not tried out the five minute journal I'll link it down below of the exact one that I have if for whatever reason that color is no longer available because the color I ended up getting I got it from Barnes and Noble and they said it was an exclusive color so you know when they do that it's not it's like a seasonal thing so if for whatever reason that blue one that I have is no longer available I'll leave an I'll just leave another I don't know what this person behind me was doing I'll just leave another link down below that way you um can still get it because Target sells it obviously you can get it from the website they sell it on Amazon they sell them in Barnes and Noble and I'm pretty sure other places too. I just haven't looked, but I've only seen it in Target and Barnes and Noble and then online. So again, right now I'm vlogging on this Canon PowerShot V2. Let me show you how little this thing is. So I mean, this is what it looks like. And then you can flip the camera up to see yourself. It's so small. It comes with like a little kickstand and everything. And you already see that it's a wide angle, so we let it. Here is a healthy distance, and look at all that you can see. So I'm trying to find like an equivalent to my Sony that I usually vlog with, that I'm still going to predom predominantly vlog with. It's just what I'm thinking of, like Vlogmas and you know Fashion Week and just different events. I want something that's going to be pocket size. This joint is the size of a credit card. Like I want something that's going to be small, easy to get in and out. It's not like me trying to juggle a thousand things. I want something that has really good sound quality already built in where I might not necessarily need a big separate mic. So yeah. Now to get tip top quality, sometimes you got to do all that. But just for events and stuff, I want something easier to work with. Welcome to Starbucks. My name is Caleb. What's your name? Can I do a um, ice grande caramel macchiato with two extra pumps of vanilla? Is vanilla? Yes. Alright. What else are we So, it's so funny because I am full-blown. <laughs> I'm a full-blown regular at, um, at my local Starbucks. And I love it. But I just feel like my name is kind of common. It's not that common, but it's pretty common. And I feel like it's more common in guys than than women um but anyway but i just feel like every time i come to starbucks they just know what i'm gonna get and that ha that actually happened one time <laughs> like you come to a, a an establishment so much to the point that they know your order i think that's so funny and then look it already comes with like a little stand like this joint uh this one is really like calling my name because it's so small it's so small I don't know if it'll stay though, so if y'all fall over, I'm sorry. You are Jalen. I am. Not Maddie. That's Maddie's. <laughs> I was about to say that the cup did look a little different. Yeah, this is Jalen. Yes, ma'am. This is the white on white and the thing, and you're just looking kind of <laughs> like real sleek today, you know? Okay. You want to straw for this, Jalen? Yes, please. Yeah, with the white. <laughs> the white on white. Yeah. <laughs> You're a bold woman. <laughs> 11 are you paying with the tap? Yes, ma'am. Okie dokie. Make a selection and then you'll tap. Yeah, you know, so I'm just going to run some errands then head back home to relax. Oh, I love that. <laughs> What's relaxing going to entail today? Mm, probably end up working still. Uh oh. Like on the computer, knowing me, but just trying to sit still probably do some reading or something yeah i've been watching a lot of uh, married at first sight so i'm like stuck on that right now just a little bit not a lot i don't watch a lot of tv so when i do just something entertaining i guess yeah i got you and like sometimes it drops i'm like i don't need to be this emotionally involved in something you now know that yeah <laughs> i get that you know like i 
Exactly. But what's gonna happen? Exactly. You know? But I like I like waiting till all of the episodes come out. That way right. I can binge watch it. I can get all the way to the end. I can yeah. find out what happens. Like, okay, she did marry him. Right. Yeah, you exactly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Let me tell y'all something. I love the Starbucks community. People at Starbucks are just so cute to me. She said she, I don't know what she said. I'm a mold woman. I've never heard of that. But Cool. <laughs> but I love this little camera. I just, I don't, I don't know. I just have to make sure the quality is like what I really want it to be. Now, last vlog, let me tell y'all something. Last vlog, I used this one. Um, not at the very end, but when I had like my little green sweater on and I was talking about Paige. That joint in low light was horrible. But then again, I'm using raw settings. So I know this camera does have a few settings that I could use to tweak the quality and stuff like that. So I didn't use it. And also there's a stabilization feature on here. <sighs> Did I even use that? Hold on one second. But I have a testimony and y'all know I love sharing with you guys some vulnerable things. Not too vulnerable, amen. So I don't know and let me know down below if you guys have experiences with the Lord, but I was reading something and the Lord has given me and I was reading about Job in the Bible so I was reading Job 33 and Job 33 if you read it and I'm gonna have to read it to you when I park but when I tell you the last couple of months have been very 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 hard for me I mean now being where I'm at now it doesn't seem like it was that hard I guess because I no longer feel the same way but I'm not gonna deny where I was and I was in a very very sad not depressed very very sad way down state and I don't know what this season is called or what was going on but there was just a lot emotionally that I was dealing with that I really don't even understand how I was able to really get through and function therapy had really really helped save my mind a lot and the fact that my therapist was as thorough and as attentive and as spiritually sound as she is um, that really came into play and just like a little shameless plug this video is not sponsored they've sponsored me before but I really use it and it's really that good um, better help I went through better help to find my therapist she's amazing um, and better help you can literally literally go in customize the type of therapist you want from black white Christian holistic views catered and you know or specializes in trauma family drama relationship trauma work stress i mean whatever it is so with that being said i found me a perfect therapist and she's amazing and i'll be honest with you i've been kind of hesitant on really sharing a lot uh, when it comes to me and my life just because the area i live in is very small and it's not that anyone even cares about my business i'm sure they don't maybe some do who knows but i've been very like quiet <laughs> to say the least about things that i've been through just because you know with going to church and things like that I just don't want people to like see my stuff and they can know my business and that is like another thing about being a youtuber and just kind of sharing your life because you essentially know me better than I know y'all and people that see me is just kind of like oh I'm a walking open book or an open storyline that people could talk about or whatever the case is and um and then I know nothing. I hope y'all are getting what I'm saying. But anyway, so just being, you know, doing YouTube and being, being vulnerable can be very beautiful because the community, community that I've been able to build here and, you know, who just, we've been to each other here on this platform has just been very beautiful and it's such a blessing. And I know God has given me this platform to share experiences, share the works of, uh, share his works. Also, there's another side to it again, where it's like being kind of vulnerable can kind of backfire sometimes or it can kind of seem like dang everybody knows my business you know I don't want everyone to know my business so that's why yes I'm very vulnerable I am very I don't mind talking about certain things but I think God has helped me do a good job of sharing just enough saying all that to say this last season has been really really hard and a lot of you guys had commented on it DM'd me about it um asked questions you know just simply saying you know are you okay i can see a heaviness on you i can see it in your eyes seems like you've been crying like there's just been a lot happening and yes all those things that you might suspect are true you know are you still with your boyfriend no i'm not um are you you know there are there are things that have happened in this last season that was just really 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 tough on your girl so saying all that to say 
my brother and i don't want to get too deep into this but i found out that god gives nightmares and there was a point in time where i knew god would allow nightmares sometimes but i always thought like nightmares was just more of like oh the devil trying to attack me in my sleep da, 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 da. but job 33 read it job 33 i'll put the exact scripture here but job 33 talks about how god will give nightmares or terrors not to um it's to warn us it's to make us aware of what's going on around us it's it's to keep us from doing things that we don't even either need to do or we you know it could be a thing of like stopping us in our tracks from doing something we have no business or simply warning us from something somebody else might be trying to do and what's crazy is it sounds good right it sounds good to say oh god warned me about this god warned me about this but what about if god warned you about something that you thought was good what if god warned you about something that you actually love what if god warned you about something that has been you know something that you may have uh, you may have planned for in your life you know and now this thing is necessarily not good for you or necessarily a bad thing or something right and i'm just speaking in the hypothetical amen so with all of that god has really been giving me god has given me yet another testimony another victory another story to tell about his about his good works and his faithfulness towards me and um and i pray that me sharing this with you inspires you to continue to grow in god continue to get closer to god continue to stay at the foot of god continue to read the word of god continue to pray to god continue to trust god with your life and with all of that here it is so this last season right this last season has been pretty hard no i'm no longer in a relationship i'm no longer dating i will say that that was a hard hit to where i was um emotionally mentally um just how i was kind of feeling about a lot of things and uh it, it put me in a state of confusion a little bit because i was like dang like i thought you know <laughs> i thought I thought things were on the up and up. I thought, you know, maybe I found my person. Maybe, maybe things were finally, you know, coming together in that area. Because things, a lot of things have come together. Amen. God gave me a testimony. And the thing about it is I did a, ha I did a lot of laying before the Lord. I did a lot of reading, crying out. I mean, it was some ugly cries. It was a lot of stuff, right? And fast forward, you know, I, I, you guys know, you saw me go to Essence Fest and my friend Laysla, like she was out there with me and if only you knew the half y'all if only you knew the half but when i tell you i was a mess in new world <laughs> and i'm really putting myself out there right now but i was a i was an entire mess in new orleans to the point that i don't know if you were to go back and look but during the times i was getting ready i looked so sad and it was because i was crying all morning i was i was a wreck all morning I had my moments throughout the day. Now, did I enjoy my time at Essence? Yeah. Did we did we have a blast? Did we did we really enjoy our time? Absolutely. Like I was not gonna let that blessing pass me by. I enjoyed my time. Amen. And I remember just kind of crying out, you know, and I was for me, anytime I'm going through something, and it don't even have to be a breakup, it can be anything. I have to deal with it head on. No matter how bad it hurts, no matter how uncomfortable it makes me, I've learned that that is the only way that I'm going to really receive healing. That I'm really going to be able to let God in and do his wonder works, right? So for me, I did a lot of crying. I did a lot of ugly crying. Like I let myself have my moments, even if that meant, hey, Excuse me one second, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Like, I was then able to really start seeing the manifestation of God's healing power work in my life. And again, lots of therapy sessions, lots of extended therapy sessions, glory be to God. Um, a lot of journaling, a lot of praying, a lot of just... And I mean, even at church, they always do altar calls at the end of service. I'm never... Like, I'm not the one to go up for an altar call just because I kind of feel like sometimes anytime you go up for an altar call, it's kind of like, mm, what's wrong with her? Mm, what's going on with her? But I was desperate. I didn't care. I didn't care what anyone thought. I didn't care what anyone was suspecting that was going on with me. I went up for prayer and I want, and I was like, God, like, I have to lay this at the altar. Like, I need you 
to help me. I'm gonna go charge my car. My car needs to be charged. <laughs> you know, that was June. June was hard. July was even harder. But let me tell you something. Every day gets easier. Every day gets, gets, gets uh, a little easier. And I hope this encourages someone who may be going through a separation, a breakup, or anything. Every day does get a little easier. It's hard, you know, when you're separating from people that you love, that you cared about, that you're planning a life with, that you thought was gonna you know you just thought things were gonna be different right and sometimes it just doesn't work out like that and i mean you never know what the future will hold you never know what may come out of certain situations but also just trust god with with everything pray about everything pray about everything pray about everything you now fast forward to now i truly feel like god has given me a testimony <laughs> because i can sit here and truly say that i am in a healed place i'm in a place of i've been restored i've been renewed my mind is different my heart is different and it's not different like oh i'm just cold-hearted i'm just da -da -da -da. like no if anything it has caused me to kind of love even more it's kind of caused me to want to love more it's kind of it's caused me to really want to um, understand the loving power of God concerning his people because we recognize it's not always a flesh thing it's not always you know it's not always personally you like people go through things right people go through things all of the time I just truly am in a great place I'm truly happy I'm truly God really God really healed me I don't know what to say <laughs> I really don't know what to say. But anyway, so Job 33, if you ever read it, you know, it really hit. I read, I usually read the Bible in CSB or KJV, but I read the MSG. It's just like the way the message version rewrite, not rewrites, or just like translates it or whatever. It's just so funny to me. So the way that this particular Bible verse and stuff read was just, was just really, really funny. I'm going to read it to you guys because I want y'all to understand why I say what I say about I'm living out Job 33. God, thank you for a Job 33 testimony. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that in just a second. So let me give you a little bit of backstory. So we all know the story of Job. Job was a man that loved the Lord, that was faithful to the Lord, and the enemy wanted to kind of test that a little bit. So Job had a wife, he had children, he had, he had property, he had things. And what ended up happening was God allowed the enemy to test Job to just basically prove like no it doesn't matter like what's what happens in his life he's gonna always serve me he's gonna always love me God gave the devil basically permission to kind of mess with his life right anyone could pop anyone would in that position would be like God what in the world like I'm serving you I'm loving you why would you even let this like happen there was a point in time where Job was questioning did like did I worship money did I do this did I do this like what did I do to deserve what's happening to me so what's happened is I don't know how to pronounce his name it's like Elihu Elihu something like that <clears throat> this young guy and if you go back to Job 32 it says that um, Elihu was the son of Barakel the Buzite and said um he's, I'm a young man and you are all old and experienced that's why I kept quiet and held back from joining the discussion I kept thinking, experience will tell. The longer you live, the wiser you become. But I see I was wrong. It's God's spirit in a person, the breath of the Almighty One that makes wise human sight possible. So this guy was young, but also he was definitely like this young guy was, was he has some wisdom. You could just tell he probably spent a little time with the Lord. Amen. So Job is basically like, like God, like God, you ain't right about this. Like you ain't right. You could imagine the frustration Job is experiencing because what happened to Job? All of his possessions were taken. His family was killed. Like everything was stripped from Job. So anybody would be looking at God sideways like, what in the world is this? Like, why is all of this happening when I've been faithful to you when I've been doing all the things, right? And we go to Job 33 and now his friend Elliot was saying, so we'll start at verse one. It says, so please Job, hear me out. Honor me by listening to me. Like bro, just, just calm down, listen to me. He says, I have no ulterior motives in this. I'm speaking honestly from my heart. The spirit of God made me what I am, the breath of God Almighty gave me life. And listen to what he says, y'all. It says, and if you think you can prove me wrong, do it. Lay out your arguments, stand up for yourself. Look, I'm human, no better than you. We're both made of the same kind of mud, so let's work through this together. Don't let my aggressiveness overwhelm you. We all need a friend like Elie, right? Like, he's not gonna let, you know, Job get too far on his thoughts like, mm, you doing a lot, hold on. 
you know, you can't you can't do all that, right? LU says, here's what you said. I heard you say it with my own ears. You said, I'm, I've done nothing wrong. Believe me, I'm clean. My conscience is clear, but God keeps picking on me. He treats me like I'm his enemy. This is Job. This is what Job was saying. God keeps picking on me. He treats me like I'm his enemy. He's thrown me in jail. He keeps me under constant surveillance. And Ellie responds and says, let me tell you, Job, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. God is far greater than any human. So how dare you haul him into court and then complain that he won't answer your charges? God always answers one way or another, even when people don't recognize his presence. Listen to it, y'all. Here we go. Let's keep going. It says, in a dream, for instance, a vision at night, when men and women are deep in sleep, fast asleep in their beds, God opens their ears and impresses them with warnings to turn them back from something bad they're planning, from some reckless choice, and keep them from any early grave from the river of no return. Or God might get their attention through pain. Here we go. By throwing them on a bed of suffering so they can't stand the sight of food, have no appetite for their favorite treats, they lose weight, wasting away to nothing, reduced to a bag of bones. They hang on to the clipped edge of death, knowing the next breath may be their last. Here we go. Here's the testimony. But even then, an angel could come, a champion. There are thousands of them to take up your cause, a messenger who would mercifully intervene, canceling the death sentence with the words, I've come up with the ransom. Before you know it, you're healed. The very picture of health. How faithful is the Lord for him to, to for, for us, it looks like, oh, God is picking on me. Oh, God, don't let me have nothing. Oh, God, da, da, da. But what we don't understand a lot of the times is that God is an all-knowing God. He knows everything. He sees everything. He knows all the thoughts. He knows all the plans. And sometimes we get in situations thinking the coast is clear, thinking that people are as genuine as they say, thinking that people have the right intentions towards you, thinking that people have clear, clear thoughts about you. It could be a whole list of things, right? But we don't know. So it's only right that we give God we trust God with the people that's in our lives, with with the with anything that we do. That's why I say pray about everything, so that way God can protect us. God can give us the answers regarding, you know, making a decision or doing something. That way we don't get ourselves in a situation. And I know someone could argue and be like, oh well, why would God, you know, do that to somebody? Why would God, you know, say or why would God do that to somebody that's been faithful to them? Well, at the end of the day, I truly believe that God does things. Obviously, this is this is a perfect example of what it means when we say that we go through for other people. So I thank God for taking Job through this. Like obviously that is nothing I don't wish on anybody, you know, to have everything stripped from you, your family, your your children, your spouse, your possessions. Like that's 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 terrible. But my pastor always says, you know, Job did not have the book of Job to read. Job did not have these scriptures to sit on and rely on and to kind of meditate on knowing that the ending was going to be victorious, knowing that the ending of all of this, that God was going to restore him tenfold of all of the things that he lost and then some, right? Even then, we can learn a lot from Job because he stayed faithful. He, you know, even in his frustration, again, his friend had to check him and be like, uh-uh, what you're not going to do is talk about God like that. Like, hold on. I know what you're going through is hard, but wait a minute. But at the end of the day, we all need a friend like Elliot, right? We we need a, we need our circle to even if they're younger than us, whatever the case is, we need people who are spiritually sound to keep us in check. So even in our seasons of frustration or our moments of frustration, rather, we got people that can check us and make sure we're still not disrespecting the Lord, cursing God, all of these things. So I know that was that was that was that was powerful. But reading that, when I tell you God legit gave me a Job 33 testimony, and the, the, the part that sticks out the most to me is verse 23 through 25. It says, but even then an angel could come to take up your cause, a messenger who would mercifully intervene, canceling the death of the words of come up with the ransom. Before you know it, you're healed, the very picture of health. And when I tell you the, the way these last months have been kicking my tail, they have been tearing me up up okay i've been going through it to the point that god has really given me 
Like just 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 the way I feel is literally the complete opposite of what I was feeling before. I'm no longer sad. I'm no longer moping around. I'm no longer like and even when my mind tries to play games with me and and makes me have intrusive thoughts about things and whatever the case is, something that would make me sad, something that would make me oh no, maybe I knew like anytime my mind tries to do that, it doesn't hit the same, it doesn't hurt the same, it doesn't affect me the same. And I have these scriptures that I am I'm living on, I'm relying on you know cast down every imagination under the submission of Christ you know or 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 my favorite scriptures uh second Corinthians 12 10 you know but in my weakness God's strength is made perfect and you know we we rely on these things or James 1 and 2 you know count it all joy when you go through various situations because you know then it's just a test of your faith it's to it's to give you the endurance it's to bring you closer to the Lord I'm paraphrasing a little bit but it's all these scriptures that we can rely on that are true that are alive that are for us to rely on because it is God continuing continuing to make his promise to us that he's going to bring us to a victorious end oh my gosh so when I tell you that's my like that's where I'm at right now this last season I need baby it was so hard it was so hard oh it was so hard and I'm not saying what we go through is just gonna be so easy because I think all of us have been alive long enough to know none of this stuff is easy <laughs> Even if all of our issues would come and get swept up right now, there would still be something that we would be dealing with, right? Because at that point, we still need that thorn. We still need something to keep us searching after God, regardless of what. And not that we just, oh, God, just fix my situations. God, just fix my situations. But it's literally, we're doing life with God. We're doing life with him. We're doing life with the Lord. So when I tell you he's giving me a Job 33 testimony, this joint is so crazy. So when I read it, I was reading it for a whole different reason. I was reading it about... The dreams because God had been giving me visions and dreams about things concerning people concerning my life concerning and some of them have been like disturbing dreams and I was like Lord I'm like why do I keep having these disturbing dreams like what is this what are you trying to tell me and my brother put me on to the script I mean uh to the scripture about how he'll give us um warnings right 15 through 18 in a dream for instance a vision at night when men and women are deep sleep God opens their ears and impresses them the CSB version it reads for God speaks time and again but a person may not notice it but in a dream a vision in the night deep sleep as they slumber he uncovers their ears and terrifies them with warnings because sometimes it don't hit for us until it scares us to death right so sometimes that's what we need and God is just so oh God is just so like he just gets it he just gets it he just gets it and in and, and the way that we think it should be it's not gonna hit the same I promise you it's not but I know I've been talking for a while and I hope you still stuck around but when I tell you I'm so encouraged I'm so encouraged and I really encourage you to read the full book of Job. It's it's very relatable in a lot of ways but also it ends in victory for Job and for that again Job did not have the book of Job to read like my pastor says. You know we don't we don't have these things you know what I'm saying and I always think about like if we were people that were put into the Bible to help you know generations on down the line to read and to stay close to God. I just thought you know I was just thinking about what if hypothetically let's just say I had a book of Jalen there was a book of Jalen right and just what that looked like or what that sounded like in terms of her relationship with the Lord in terms of the experiences that she went through and the way that God came into her life like what would that look like right with all of that being said I hope this was some level of encouragement for you just to really seek after the Lord concerning your situations how you feel right now and it did nothing but encourage me to lay more things before the Lord that I'm dealing with because yes this particular situation is now healed and restored and solved but there's still other things that are here there are still things that I'm dealing with there's still other battles that I'm essentially fighting but I have to kind of let God tackle it and I'm just really I'm really interested to see how God is going to tackle some of these other things that I have going on but even then I know it's all for a testimony even then I know it's all for God's glory and this is why we go through so that way we could talk about it that way we could talk about it by the power of our testimonies we can bring more people to Christ we can just I don't know we can just relate and just we, we do this thing called life together and for that I'm gonna keep on testifying I'm gonna keep on talking about it and that's why I don't mind being vulnerable because it's real life it's real life like yes I respect and I hope everyone else respects you know people's privacy like it's great to be private about a lot of things but also when it comes to testifying when it comes to talking about something that the that the Lord did for you Oh, talk about that joint. Don't be shamed. Talk about it. Talk about it. 
<laughs> talk about it because again people need to see that god is still out here working god is still out here healing people you know what i'm saying like god is still doing all the things so i have talked so long to the point that my car went from 19 percent. i am on 70 percent now and i think i am going to unplug i'm not gonna go all the way to 90 i'm just gonna go to 80 today <sighs> but i got my little usual y'all my little bacon gouda egg sandwich mm. brb Alrighty, guys i secured sunny's cup but the crazy thing about it is and this is what it looks like again if you guys are wondering what cup we're talking about but this cup is so nice but this is sunny's um but y'all why do they only have like two left in there <laughs> i was like let me hurry up and get this cup i got there just in time it was a it was a bunch of them yesterday it wasn't that many but it was quite a few yesterday but girl it's even less today i said girl let me get this cup for my guru well, look at God. So Avery now has a grooming appointment at one o'clock. Thank you, Jesus, because honey. So at this point in time, I'm just gonna run to the store and I'm gonna go get some printables done. And I'll just go to uh, the candle place and get my watch looked at when I get, I mean, when I'm taking Avery to the groomers because it doesn't make any sense right now, I can say. So yeah, as of right now, I'm just gonna go. Yeah, so right now I'm just gonna go get my print my pictures printed off head back home then i gotta put my plant in the pot can't wait to do that so y'all can see my little pot because i was super excited about that and then uh, oh that lexus is nice yo let me tell y'all something these lexuses the lexuses have been coming out with some fire cars they have been looking so nice there's no one like you oh god Okay, you guys, I am having a, I don't know, like a 360 full circle moment type of deal. But when I tell you, this album is so old, but it's such a good album. Oh my goodness. But Dion Kipping, man of God, hello. You did your thing with this album. So good. I just felt like this was such an honorable mention of an album when I say like everything else. This album is so good. And if you want like a good mixture of like upbeat just dum, 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 dum. I'm only pulling out the other camera now because I wanted to test out and see what this was looking like up in here. I don't know or I don't know yet, y'all. I really don't know yet. Like, it's just such a good album. But anyway, I just got to the store. I'm getting ready to run in here so I can see about getting some pictures <laughs> developed. I hope it comes out right because sometimes this thing acts funny in here. Basically, like, I don't know. It just acts funny. But I already have, like, the pictures that I want to do. I got a picture of me and Sunny. Picture of me and Lace Love. Picture of my dad and I. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but let's go inside. Is this the scanner or what is this? Okay. What is up you guys? I am finally, finally, finally back home. I have been ripping and running all day. So I kind of want to do a solo date night tonight. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I still want to go. And on top of that, I'm trying to figure out if I want to take like a quick nap because honestly, I would really like to get cute and to just take myself out to dinner because why not? And I want to just start doing more things for myself, really just start, I don't know. And I should have never stopped, but I'll be honest, like people always talk about that, like, oh, don't ever stop dating yourself when you start dating other people. But sometimes that can be hard a little bit. And hear me out. Here's why. Because when you find someone that you really, really, really enjoy their company, it's not that you lose your self of identity um, when you're with somebody, but you just might genuinely enjoy being around them. So that's just why you don't necessarily care to do things alone all the time. But I did things alone all the time. Like I work from home, so I'm at home all the time. So when I did go on a date, it was always like kind of like on their time and stuff like that. But now, now I just kind of feel like I'm like back to, you know, just back to just, just me. 
you know, and just kind of doing things when I want to. So necessarily, I don't have to like try to figure out someone else's schedule. Like I could just, what? I kind of want to get cute. I kind of want to, it would be nice just to kind of go out to dinner and get myself together. <laughs> Starbucks um, drive through line, getting ready to get a coffee. I want to do a little bit of Bible study this morning. Y'all, it is day one of my cycle. So when I tell y'all I am, I'm going through it right now, but I do have some medicine on standby, but I have a really hard time trying to swallow pills. I've gotten better over the last maybe like year or so, um, but I notice I can take it better with like a thicker drink. So if it's like a juice, some coffee, something like that, that's just a little thicker and texture. I notice I can swallow my pills um, a lot easier. Now, if I'm drinking something as thin as water or something like that, unless it's my carbonated water, even then sometimes it's like, I don't know, it's a little harder. Um, but, but I already know why it's just the cycle and I'm gonna be okay. But I got up this morning and I was like, I'm just gonna take me a shower and just make myself feel really good. So I did that and I did my skincare. So my skin is looking like glass. Y'all, my skincare routine, skincare in the morning, like my skin is just different in the morning. Like after you wake up, I just feel like it's just different. I don't know how, but it's just different. Um, but my skin looks really good this morning, thank God. I got my Bible over here as well because I do want to get into the Word a little bit and just kind of read through some things, talk about some things, study some things, all the things. Um, so I got that. And then I also have my five-minute journal over here with me as well because I wasn't feeling too well last night and I already know I did not do my nightly entry for yesterday. So I have to finish the nightly entry and then I have to do my day entry for today. And then I got to make sure... I'm on it for tonight to do my nightly entry. When I tell you, I have really been on it. I'm trying to make sure I continue to do my journaling. And I think I was saying this earlier in the vlog, but if I missed it, and I think y'all know what camera I end up going with. <laughs> but anyway, um, it can be kind of hard, at least for me, just to stay consistent with writing journal entries. And when you open up a journal and it's just a blank page, sometimes you feel almost obligated to fill in like the whole page or all these words or something like that and and journaling is literally whatever you make it i mean if you only want to do a few sentences that's on you if you want to write a book write a book like it's your journal it is your thoughts it is your feelings it is your life it is your everything make journaling whatever you want it to be so that's what i really really like because i have another journal i have a prayer journal I have a regular journal, which I don't even need them all separated like that, but hear me out. I just love, like, I love stuff like this. I love stationery. I love, like, journals, planners. I love all the things. Um, but I really, really liked this because it just, I don't know, it just kind of gives. That's the best way I can really describe it. So I really like how it is. I mean, you put in the date and then you do I'm what um, I am grateful for what would make today great daily affirmation and then of course the part here gets darker or grayed out so this is for nighttime see the moon and then you do the highlight of the day and then what did I learn today and it's the same thing every day every day so see I skipped last night but that's your journal entry like it doesn't have to be super thought out super stressful super whatever just make it whatever you want it to be and I just really really like that journal and I've been seeing um, a lot of people so I know I know I'm late to the party there's been plenty of people already on these things but um this color I got I just love this blue blue is so gorgeous and I just so happen to have a match pen from like some pen and I think this was from Target as well but they have so many different colors like if you're into like 
the white aesthetic, like the beige aesthetic. They have them colors too. They got black. They got a lot of things. So whatever you're interested in, I say go for it. Oops, I say go for it. Um, but I got me one of my pressed juices. I'm, I'm gonna sip on that as well with my breakfast. I actually think I'm gonna take my medicine with this. But I'm trying to wait till I park because yeah, Starbucks line's a little long this morning. But more on this camera, I really like this camera a lot better. If this quality was on that smaller camera, I would definitely go with that one. But this one, the quality is just really, really good for it to be like a pocket size camera situation. This is this is it. I love this camera. This is the Sony ZV-1 Mark II. Definitely think it's worth the buy um, if you're really wanting good quality, things like that. But the other one that I had was so cute and small, but the quality is not given. I cannot. <laughs> and when I was talking about my testimony early in the vlog, I was only using the Canon, the PowerShot joint. I said, man, if I was, if only I recorded with this one. <laughs> I was so irritated, but the quality is just not there. And there's a lot of other things I could say about that camera, but Canon, I would love to work with you, Canon. I really, really would. Sony, I would love to work with y'all. I've just, I just think I've become a Sony girl and that's just, that's just where I'm at. What can I get started for you? Can I just do a grande iced caramel macchiato with two eggs? Okay, got that ordered. Uh, all the time, but I definitely would say, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, it's very solid. You're good with 100% Clara. I have any plans for kids in the next few years, so. Since creates something wonderful memories with friends and family. Right. You're gonna drop that quite a bit on Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace. Um, I'm just getting up, getting myself together. I slept so hard last night. So hard last night. I don't even know what the heck was going on with me, but I slept so hard last night and I don't feel bad. I just feel, yeah, I don't feel bad. I just don't feel like myself. But today I wanted to, so once, <clears throat> I'm not gonna physically go to church today because my back is really killing me. So I'm getting ready to watch church online and just get into the word of God. After that, I wanna do a little organizing, organize with me type of deal. I wanna organize my drawers, organize my cabinets. Um, cabinets. And I was gonna buy a bunch of like organizing bins, but I changed my mind just because I just don't think it's really necessary to like buy all of those different bins. Um, so I'm not gonna go and buy any more bins. I'm just gonna use what I have because the idea essentially is to get rid of a lot of stuff. Yeah, I've done a lot of decluttering, so I don't have like a whole pile of like junk, but there are a lot of things I can get rid of because I don't use, things like that. So today's agenda is really just kind of decluttering all of that stuff and so forth. Rest my body. My cycle has really been kicking my butt this weekend, and um, and I'm just kind of just kind of out of it um, to say the least. So where did I get these? I just think it's so funny when I buy certain glasses and I don't even be wearing them. These are like super dirty. But anyway, <clears throat> I hope you guys slept well. Oh, did I even give today's date? Today is Sunday, August the 27th. But I know um, in last vlog I was showing you guys that I had finally gotten me a water flosser. So this is my water flosser. And I haven't really used a water flosser, so I'm kind of nervous to see how this actually works. It's gonna put me on a little bib because I just feel like the water's gonna get everywhere. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, thank God it's just water. What the heck kind of, what the heck? I'm scared. This was embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I need y'all to see my mirror. <laughs> look, at, look at my mirror. It is full of water. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. That was so embarrassing. How do you use a water flosser? There's water all over my mirror. That was so embarrassing. Um, Let's not do that anymore. They should be ready to go live right about now. And make sure you share this live and we love you. We love y'all. Y'all, I may have to run and go get breakfast because all of my bacon, I didn't realize my bacon was 
pretty much expired. So I don't know what to really do for breakfast. What happens on earth is bad business. And I hated everything I accomplished and accumulated on this earth. I can't take it with me. I must leave it to work on it. Hey guys Ugh. okay so church just went off so I'm watching I mean I'm getting ready to cut on MAFS married at first sight and I was talking with you guys in the comments on the last video um, how I was on season 12 and that season was just a lot like that was just a lot I would have liked to say it is what it is but Last vlog I was showing you guys this big bin I got. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. And I might need to move. Oh, this fits just right. I don't know if y'all can see, but like it's hitting this, but it's it fits just right, just enough. So I'm gonna leave it there. Let's go ahead and take all of this out. So again, I wanted to get a bin that would just kind of house more items that I needed. So, bottom drawer. I'm gonna do this, like this is pretty much gonna be like my skincare stuff, if I'm honest. So here I'm gonna put some serums in here. Got serums in here. If I really want to get super, super like picky, some of the stuff I wouldn't even put in here, but there's a lot of skincare that I own and I really love skincare. So there's a lot in here that I want to hang on to. So which is why I'm doing this right now. So honestly, if I really wanted to and just like kind of dedicate this to skincare, all of, like all of this here could be moisturizer, this could be serums, but if I did that, I would need a lot more drawers. So I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna kind of throw things in here as I see fit. Yeah, but I'm just really kind of, I'm not quite ready to part ways with. Like for instance, like this Bloom oil is really good. I don't use this all the time because I really love the Malay one, which I still might, I might pick this one up until I can get a new Malay one, but you can get it from Target. Like this Do The Most Moisturizer is a 10 out of 10. It is really, really good. Um, and then this, my manager put me onto this one. I was watching someone else's vlog and they were doing a skincare mask and I was like, ooh, that's what I haven't done in a minute is did my intensified um, uh, face mask. And I thought about my Clarins one, so I was like, you know what, let me go in here and get my skincare stuff together. But I have my number seven pure retinol. Retinol is really good for the skin. This one is really good, the Hydra Boost uh, Gel from Neutrogena. Osea has really, really good skincare. I haven't tried a lot of the Osea skincare, but um, their facial cream is really, really good. There's this burst out of sight dark spot gel and I was thinking about kind of using some on like some of these spots Especially on this side. I have a few. We'll put that in there drawer. So this is the advanced protection cream This one by um, Osea is really good. I've been eating this one up <laughs> So this one's really good. Wow. Okay. We already got one full. So yeah, Verse looked out and sent me the Sunday morning oil serum, a moisturizing gel cream, the gentle retinal serum, and the daily brightening solution. I really, really like this. So they really looked out and sent a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to 
start putting those in here. So shout out to Verse for just thinking of your girl. We have a lot of First Aid Beauty. Now First Aid Beauty has really, really good skincare products. Shout out to Josie Moran. I got some Argan Oil Face Butter. It's whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. So we love that. So I'm gonna put that in here. I haven't tried that yet though. This is whipped Argan Oil and this is the Body Butter. So I'm gonna keep this up top for my body products. And we have the Old Faithful Mario Badescu. I use this for um, like a breakout or something to kind of dry it out. So I use like a little Q-tip because it's a liquid but it dries up. But I'll keep this on standby. Um, actually, we're gonna put that up top because this is like emergency. Oh, and this is the other stuff. I know on my last vlog, and thank you guys so much for your suggestions. In my last vlog, you guys were giving me some few tips about my back knee. Um, but this is one product that I wanted to start trying out to see if it would help, but this is the Clarifying Back Knee Spray. This is by Dermalogica. So I still have the plastic on this, so I'm gonna actually, probably when I take my shower later, I'm going to try this and I'll let you guys know how that works because I told you guys I'm really kind of, I'm not gonna even sit here and say like, oh, I'm just so insecure about it. I'm really not insecure about it. It's just an area on my body that needs extra love and I obviously I don't like that I get breakouts on my back like that. So it's just something I'm gonna have to give a little more attention to. Moving on, we have my Mighty Patches, the invisible ones, so I'm gonna put that. So the top drawer is gonna be like emergency, so we got like breakout stuff. Um, easy. Um, I'm gonna put lip products up here. Again, this is a body oil, so I'm gonna put my body stuff here. Loving how this looks already. It looks so clean and just uh, put together. I have a bunch of these like hair. I don't know how they got all mixed up. Maybe I, I didn't realize I tossed them, but these are just like shower cap things. So um, I'm gonna put this in this thing over here. Hey, what is next? What is next? So up here, so up here actually I can kind of include maybe, so let's see. So this little pull out thing is kind of like my, like overflow, like the big thing of flaws or the big thing of Q-tips. So I even have some of these. These are what I use to kind of get rid of my peach fuzz, but I'm gonna add just a few up here just for aesthetics. We working with two angles right now. <laughs> Shout out to the Sony down here. Cause then there was, I forgot I got a Bobbi Brown um, PR package too. Like look at this yellow. Ah, this is so nice. Bobbi Brown, thank you. I already shouted them out on IG, but this is their new, it's a vitamin rich skin tint. Now y'all, I love me a good skin tint. And I've been seeing some of the girlies already posting some videos about it. So I actually kind of want to make like a reel today um, using these. So I'm going to go ahead and just prop them up right here. <laughs> um, we also have the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So this is an all-in-one primer and moisturizer. That's smart. So we're going to pop that right there. The packaging is already super cute. We have the Vitamin Enriched Eye Base which I don't really use eye bases just because I don't really wear eyeshadow, but we do have an eye base. And then to finish it off, we have a vitamin enriched pressed powder. Ooh, and this is giving my skin tone. Yay, we love this. So Bobbi Brown, thank you. And again, I've already shouted them out on IG, but I kinda wanna just show them some love on Instagram. So that's what I'm gonna do. But let me tell y'all something, I don't know this is what the PR package thing came in, but let me tell you something. I'm taking these out and I'm keeping this, um, I don't know what this is, but I like it, but I know I'm not gonna need it for anything. But this is so nice. But this could be like a super cute, like little travel bag. I could put makeup in this. So we're keeping this. So I'm gonna just slide this in the back. <laughs> that can easily be a cute little like travel makeup bag.
also have this one. So these two, I'm gonna just go ahead and sit them both in here because also, I just wanna keep all the important things. So like this is my hair. So again, I have my little miscellaneous, for some of this stuff is trash. I feel like I'm not doing this in the most organized way, but I don't even care. So yeah, so this is just a lot of hair stuff. We got hair mousse, picks. Yeah, we got a lot of like miscellaneous things. We got the, this stuff right here is bomb, the Mazzani. We got the Olaplex Intensive Bomb Building Hair Treatment. Haven't used this yet, but we got that. I'm gonna stick that in here. This is Hair Perfector. Repairs and strengthens all hair types. So I guess, do you use this as like a leave-in? Oh, so you gotta just leave this in for a little bit and then rinse it out. So this is in there, I might actually put that in there. That's something I can use on my hair like once, like as I'm showering. I need this too. Boom, boom, boom. So that's this one. This is that one I just put in there. It's kind of like my natural hair one. Actually, let's. Let's do it like this. Let's put the stuff I'm not using in the farthest corner. That just makes the most sense because I'm not using that stuff. This is more of Kenra Cleansing Rinse. We have Balancing Conditioner. I'm going to put those in here. Kenra, Kenra is a really good brand. I think I threw something away by accident from her. Hold on. This is a hydrating leave-in. <laughs> I'm going to put that in there. This is the Rosemary Hair Strengthening Hair Mask. This is just a really good hair mask. We will be keeping that. So I'm gonna put that in there. This is a really good shampoo, Design Essentials. I kind of like to use, if I don't use Olaplex, I like to use this one when I get ready to do my silk presses, just because certain shampoos leave the hair kind of stripped, like in a good way. So that way your hair can be nice and flowy when you flat iron it. We got a good old Camille Rose. I haven't done this in a minute. I low key might have to circle back with a good uh, Blexi rod set or something like that with a little perm rod. So this is a good, Hair mousse, so we'll put that in here. This one by Mazzani is good. This um, this is a cleanser, pre-cleanse. Put that in there. All right, we got edge control. This right here, top 10 edge control right now. It's my favorite. Another good one is this one by Kiss. They have a bunch of different colors. I will scents rather, and extra hold. But this one right here takes the cake. Shea Moisture, you really did your thing with this. Absolutely love this edge control hair products. Then we got the smaller products here. So before I run out of room, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Old Faithful. This was a $12 Conier um, blow dryer that I cannot part ways with. This joint has been like, girl, $12. Um, you guys always ask what flat iron do I use when I do my hair? I use the Nano Nano Titanium, the Babless Pro. This was actually my mom's, but she don't use it, so she pretty much gave it to me. <laughs> so shout out to mom. Curling iron, when I do use a curling iron, I use this one from Revlon. It has like the little red detail on the side. Absolutely love this thing. And it's pretty skinny, like the barrel on it is pretty skinny. So there's that, and that's pretty much it for that. So to fill this basket back up, we're gonna do my brushes, all of my brushes. We got the detangling brushes, we got the bristle brush. I'm gonna put all of those in here. Those, all of my combs. This is my good old Old Faithful wide tooth. I loved this brush, but I'm gonna have to throw it away because when I would, um, the way I would blow dry my hair, I guess it would get too hot, so it's kind of melted the thing. So I'm just gonna throw this away because this, if anything, this would cause breakage like crazy. So, okay, so then I just have like extra stuff. Like I had these, I don't know what I was ready to use these for, but I am gonna keep these for um, the style I do wanna do. So I'm just gonna put that in here. I need to find something to put my little things in. So we'll hang on to my scrunchies, we'll put that. I kinda like to look at this as like the dry section. I really don't know if y'all can see anything. Can y'all see? Okay, ooh, okay, this is better. And what in the death is this stuff? Hold on. Is dirt or makeup? Could be both. Got some bobby pins, put that in there. This is another little wide tooth comb. We'll put. Put that in there. I know this looks trifling, but I use this for my edges. 
But I'm gonna throw this away because that looks trifling. <laughs> uh, okay, this one looks trifling too. Ooh, I'm gonna wash that because this is this is a really good one. But I'm gonna wash that. That looks so disgusting. I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> Okay, so we are getting some more. So honestly, the rest of this stuff is like leftover makeup. Like these are all of my like perm rods. Like I got a bunch of them in here, just a bunch of perm rods. So I'm gonna put this back here. Here's my other comb. Um, I need to clean out the drawer up here too so I can finish putting everything in there. So let me get that real quick. Okay, found another scrunchie, put that in there. I need to re-up on this, but this joint right here, 10 out of 10, it's the Wild Color Wow. I'm gonna slip her right in the front because I use her a lot. This is my old Faithful brush. I think this was by, that's the brand name. I don't even remember, but this is my favorite brush. Now this one, this one doesn't, hadn't melted. So I use that joint, Old Faithful Comb. My silk presses, this is my other trusted brush for like my silk, I mean my silk backs, my <laughs> slick backs. Um, I had another comb, I don't know what, oh, just another Old Faithful comb. Okay, shears just in case I cut my hair for whatever reason. And now we have a bunch of clips. I don't know what to do. Like I just need something that can hold all of my clips. And this is like a detangler brush. So when I wash my hair, keep that in there, put that with the tools. So this is pretty much it outside of me not having something to put all of my clips in. Like I just got a bunch of these and I like having these on hand like when I do my hair, but hear me out. I don't use this, like I was using this with like these things, oops. Oh, gotta throw that one away. Um, I was using these for, I could put them in there, y'all. Hold on. I might have just solved my own problem. Cause just because it was made for toothbrushes don't mean you gotta use it for that, right? You can use it for whatever you like. I mean, you can't see them. Now these you might be able to like, so I have these too, like the bigger ones. I mean, you can't really see them, but I mean, look, we gonna repurpose some stuff, okay? I don't care no more. Aesthetics, I don't care. <laughs> We're gonna do what we need to do. I just need somewhere to put my stuff. Cause see, then I have like hair bows I wanna hang on to when I need them. It don't really make sense, but it is functional. And I think that's what's important, so. Okay, so outside of all the junk beside me, up under here, we are getting very much organized. And I still feel like I have a lot of stuff, but overall, this is really, really nice. I know it's not the most aesthetic, but honestly, at this point, we want functionality, okay? We want functionality, bump all the aesthetic sometimes. Almost forgot, this right here is too good. We're gonna slip her in the front. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one in the shower because I just feel like this one might be good. Okay, but outside of all that, this is my hair side. So we got all of that there. Like, I'm loving this. And again, this is just like extra makeup. So I'm gonna see if it can fit in this thing. Cause there's a lot of this makeup that I wanna keep like this. Actually needs to go on the other side. This was my new red lipstick. This is so pretty, it's by MAC. So pretty. And there's a nude color as well that I got. So pretty. like several I don't know I could say maybe it's been about what 20 minutes or so 
I put some hairspray in my hair, but it isn't. <gasps> Ooh, I'm tripping. Okay, if y'all want to know of a good dry shampoo, try this one. It's by Batiste. <laughs> I got it from Target, but I'll link it if I can find it. Let me see if some dry shampoo will help because this joint is giving oily a little bit. This is a several day old silk press, so. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is the before on this side, right? You see how flat it is, okay. So let's see. Hit it in the roots. Okay, you gotta hit the roots, right? You see the white. And it will dissolve. You just gotta, you can, there's a better way to do it. Like you can brush it through. I just don't wanna brush it. I just kind of rub it in. <laughs> y'all, did y'all know for Essence Fest, I was walking around with some of this in my head. Nobody told me. Mm hmm. Um, it looks a little better. The only thing I don't like about with curling my hair is that once the curls fall, that's it. Like going back to straight is like, no ma'am. But this is cute. Like I like this. Yeah? Okay. This is cute. I'm gonna just keep it like this for now. These are the earrings up close, a little bit more for y'all. You can move them. You can wear the earrings by themselves. So I could wear the small ones by themselves or the longer one by itself or wear them together. I'll, um, I don't know if I'll have a link, but I will put the place where I got it from down below. my nails like this a while back and basically they are just short square nails I have like the I can't remember the color of whatever it's called but it's just like the white color that I have um, I need to actually read up on my favorite colors but y'all putting that plant up got me hot but do y'all see my skin this is that Bobbi Brown skin tint that I was talking about that I got the PR package for Look at my skin this camera comes with a smoothing filter that smoothing filter is off honey that smoothing filter is off look at my skin y'all know I love the L'Oreal Paris it's the hyaluronic serum foundation skin tint situation my nails look trifling right now I'm gonna have to wash them again I have a, like a nail scrubber I'm gonna use that just because they look Ew. <laughs> but it's been so hard to find a foundation that beats that, and it's not like I've been looking, but y'all this. For the winter time, I'm actually gonna go to um, wherever they sell the Bobbi Brown foundation at, and I'm gonna find another one that's gonna be more of like my, I guess it'll be more of like my winter time shade. This is my little nail scrubber, so I'm going to put some soap on that and scrub underneath my nails. That's gross. This little thing is great. I think I just got this in passing when I was in either like TJ Maxx or something. They had one of these up there and I was like, oh, this is perfect because I've been having longer nails or if not, you eat certain foods, cook. You know, I don't cook with gloves on. I just don't, not for my food, I don't. <laughs> um, and sometimes having um, gloves on, I mean, if you don't have gloves on, you can get seasoning all up under your nails, or if you're making fish, chicken, something that's raw, that stuff get up under your nails. It's just good to follow through and clean really good up under your nails, but. So I have found the nails that I'm gonna use, and I always use the Apre nails. I think that's how you pronounce it, Apre. I'm gonna use these nails, and I already put one on, just trying to see if these were the nails I used last time. But this is the length. This is 
this is the square long this is the square long it looks like this but i'm going to be cutting these all the way down to um pretty much nothing <laughs> i have a hair appointment coming up soon and i know for sure i want to cut my hair some more and not a lot i just want it to um i just kind of feel like my hair is getting too long so like even with it being curled i want it to like really sit up here like it's it's too long it's just too long i want it to be a lot shorter than what it is right now and I wanted to start doing like these digital journal entries and it's nothing crazy. I just kind of want like in between a vlog or it could be like a dedicated video at some point as well. But I just kind of want to like document this journey that I'm on. And I'm so happy all of you are here to kind of journey with me, which is why I really wanted to get more consistent with my blogs because I'm gonna be honest with y'all it's like I always knew but it's like hitting me more than ever now that like blogs are really like an escape for some people that's why I'm like dang like I want my blogs to be like longer because I just sometimes I like to get away and sometimes I don't know sometimes like my getaway is watching my favorite people on YouTube so that's why I was like I want to make sure I record a good length of time for y'all. I always start out with my gel -X nails by drilling the inside. It just kind of makes the nails a little rough. This is just what I do to make them last longer. So like my gel -X nails be lasting. And if it wasn't for me just like ripping them off the way I do, don't do that. But if it wasn't for me ripping them off the way I do, they would last a lot longer but when i'm ready for a new set i'm just ready for a new set bump trying to hang on to them and plus the fact i do my nails for the most part now like i did go back to my girl tiara just to get like some french tips and you know some stuff like that but like nothing beats a gel x set for me i'm sorry like bump acrylic bump all of that just a gel x set for me is just um, this part I don't pay too much attention about but <clears throat> there is a way when it comes to the square shape this is why I like doing my nails myself because I like them to look a certain way when I say I might not be particular about nothing else but my YouTube videos or like I'll say my content my job my work and my nails are like the two things I am super particular about so I'm kind of doing they call them like a Russian manicure I'm not even sure what the difference is because I feel like we've been doing this for a long time but I'm just going through and just kind of like cleaning up the cuticles I'm doing like a rough I'm doing like a rough version right now and then I'm gonna go back through after um once I get the drill back out. So this is the part of my nails where I'm like kind of perfecting my cuticle area. I already cut off the excess skin. So I'm just kind of drilling up against it. But I love that I can pretty much do everything. <laughs> I can do my own hair. I can do my own makeup. I can do my own nails. I can edit my own videos. I can create content. I can take my own photos. Like there's just a lot I can do. And I'm so grateful for that. Like I said, pretty much everything that I use for my nails, I got from Amazon. So in my Amazon storefront, it's called Gelex Nails. But anyway, so after I do this part, since I already didn't have any nails on, we can just go right into applying the false nails. And once those are on and cut, that's the part that's really going to take me the longest because anytime I do short square, I'm, very, I'm even more particular about those than my almonds. And my almonds are my favorite. This is what they look like right now. Pretty rough, I know, I know, I know. But I'm gonna go through with the file. Here with the file, I make sure I square the mess. Like if there is any like leftover, you know, I make sure I go in that mug and I make it square, I don't care.
Thank you.